She's our assignment, huh? She's my wife, Mark. Is this your daughter? Yes. That's my Mandy. Hey! Mandy! <laughs> you look just like your mom. Jonathan Smith? new conditioner I bought makes your hair feel a lot thicker. It smells like bananas. Do you like it? No, oh, it's fine. Are you almost done? Keep your britches on. You want to look nice? I'm going to go to breakfast tomorrow. Oh, I don't want to go to breakfast. Margaret McBride, you and I have been going to breakfast every Saturday morning for 15 years. No, and I'm tired of it. That's not true. You know it. You wait all week long for those blueberry muffins. Oh, I know, but I'm tired of it. I'm just tired. Aren't you done yet? All right, I'll tell you what. I'll make us both a nice cup of tea, and then I'll finish. You want me to put the TV on? No, I just want to put my head back. That real estate man came by again. While you were taking a nap? I keep telling him we don't want to sell. But he won't listen. All he talks about is the money. He doesn't understand how people feel about a place. I told him you and I knew every plant in the yard. And the birds. Who would feed the birds if we weren't here? He just looked at me like I was crazy. Buy and sell, make a profit. That's all people think about today. Do you want honey or preserves in your tea, Margaret? Margaret? You better check the batteries in that hearing aid of yours. You... It's a crazy world, you know. I was reading the sports section this morning about him testing ball players for drugs, testing horses for drugs. You never read about anybody testing airline mechanics for drugs. I mean, nobody's gonna die if somebody drops a fly ball, you know? That's true. Yeah, a lot of people are really getting nervous about flying. I know I am. But then flying is safer than taking the train. 
A friend of mine died on a train. Somebody crashed an airplane into it. <laughs> That's a joke. Jonathan. Huh? Boy, oh, you're a million miles away. Yeah, I guess I was. How much further we got to go? About another mile. I'll show you where to turn. You know what the assignment is? Jonathan. Huh? You know what the next assignment is? No, not yet. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I used to live around here. Bring back a lot of memories. I've been back here for almost 40 years. She's our assignment, huh? She's my wife, Mark. She's my wife. I'll get it, Margaret. Yes? Hi, my name's Jonathan Smith. My friend and I were looking for a room, and we saw your sign out front. Yes. Well, I was hoping to rent to another lady, someone who might share a bit of the housework. Oh, look, we'd be more than happy to pitch in. Well, I don't know. I... Two strangers in the house. If you'd like to leave a number... No, no, that's all right. I understand. But with everything you read in the paper, I can't blame you for not wanting to have two strangers living in your house. Thank you for understanding. It's really a shame, though, isn't it? What? The world has to be this way. The people have to be afraid of each other. Yes, it is. All right. I won't keep you. Keep smiling. Mr. Smith. Yeah. If you'd still like to see the room, I'll show it to you. Well, are you sure? Yes. Come in. Thank you. The room's a good size. There's no air conditioning, but these older houses tend to stay cool. Oh, no, it's, it's perfect. Just perfect. What do you think, Mark? Oh, it's fine with me. I mean, this is a nice room. It used to be my husband's study years ago. But uh, after he died, I turned it into an extra room to help make house payments. Oh, I see. Well, it's, uh, it's just great for us, if it's all right with you. It is. The rent's 150 a month, including kitchen privileges. Oh, that's fine. Could we move right in? Certainly. I'll get our stuff. Why'd you change your mind? 
about running us the room. Oh, it's too silly to even tell you. Oh, come on. Believe it or not, it was when you said, keep smiling. My husband, Arthur, always used to say that. No matter how bad things would get, he'd take me by the chin and he'd say, keep smiling. Well, I'll let you get settled. If you need anything, just let me know. Jane? Thank you. You're welcome. Jonathan. No, I'm fine, really. Yes, they both seem very nice. I know that. But I don't want to sell the house, dear. You know why. I'm, I'm not arguing. I didn't bring it up. You did. Did you talk to Martin about coming out for a visit? Oh, I see. Well, I'm sure the children will love that. No, I understand. I wouldn't pass up a chance to go to Hawaii either. You have some pictures of them. Oh, good. Well, don't forget to send me some. Oh. Next year. Next year, I'll see you next year. No, you don't have to promise. Are the children there? Oh, I keep forgetting there's two hours difference. Well, give them a hug for me. I love you too. Bye. I'm sorry. I hope I didn't disturb you. No, not at all. That song. Play it alone. My husband always played that. It was the only song he knew. He used to go to a party and play it to impress people. And then they'd ask him to play something else. And he'd pretend to be shy. Shy. If there's one thing he wasn't, it was shy. You never remarried? No. Why not? Oh, I don't know. I, I was busy raising my daughter and uh, being a mother and working, and uh, I somehow never found time. And besides, some men don't like the responsibility of bringing up someone else's child. How is your daughter? She's fine. Married, has two children. 
They live in the East, Illinois. Yes, sir. Is this your daughter? Yes. That's my Mandy. She's almost as beautiful as her mother. <laughs> you, uh, you get to see them very often. No. It's not easy for them to get away. Her husband works very hard. I'm sorry. I'm having a very difficult time since my friend died. I, I suppose it's being alone. I'm not used to it yet. No one gets used to being alone. We weren't meant to be. I talked with Mandy tonight. They were coming out here at the end of the month, but they have a chance to go to Hawaii. I haven't seen them since they were babies. Oh, listen to the old lady prattle on about her life. I'm sure you're interested. Oh, I am. Huh, of course. Jane. I am. I'm all right now. Nothing like a shoulder to cry on. I know. I better get some sleep. Good night. I'm glad you moved in here. I like you, Jonathan. Juice, a little tea, a little toast. I thought you'd have some breakfast in bed for a change. Why, you, you shouldn't. Oh, I don't know what to say. Oh, a simple thank you will do fine. Thank you. And the flower is beautiful. Well, I'd like to tell you this was out of the kindness of my heart, but that wouldn't be true. I have an ulterior motive. I want to ask you a favor. What is that? Well, my friend Mark's going out of town this morning, and I feel like going to the zoo, and I hate to go alone. So this is sort of a bribe, you know, get somebody obligated so they can't say no. What do you say? Oh, I don't know. I have the house to clean and the vacuuming and... Uh, what's that? Well, I'm afraid we second-guessed you. Mark was ready early, so he figured he'd pitch in. Now, come on, please. Uh, I haven't been at the zoo in a long time. Uh, neither have I. I used to love it. Well, then eat your breakfast. Get yourself dressed. Jane Thompson, we're going on safari. Don't forget the living room. What's going on? Who's vacuuming this time of the morning? Yeah, nobody. Look, I want you to do me a big favor. Name it. I want you to go see my daughter and her family. Tell them you're a friend of Jane's. Let them know how down she is. See if you can talk them into paying her a visit. Give it a try. But I mean, you're the angel. Don't you think you should be the one? Well, I, I just don't want to leave her right now. All right, I'll give you a shot. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you. Where are you going? The zoo. Well, wait a minute. Now, I don't even know where she lives or anything. Everything's in your jacket pocket. Address, plane ticket, the works. Plane ticket? Now, wait a minute. You mean I gotta fly? I hate flying. Well, you get used to it. I did. <laughs> sure you did, after you died. Oh, I hate flying. <laughs>
koala bear is the cutest thing in the world. Hey, we can go back and see him again, if you'd like. Yeah, I'd love to, but uh, to be honest with you, my feet are killing me. <laughs> hey, come on, let's sit down for a while. Oh, I'd love to. Oh. oh. Feels so good. Probably didn't seem like a lot of walking to you, but wait and see in a few years. You'll find out you can't do the things you used to do. Well, if it makes you feel any better, my feet are killing me, too. Now, now, at your age. Oh, come on. I may be a little older than I look. <sighs> you certainly look a lot younger than you are. Thank you. All of us old bags like to hear that. I think you're beautiful. <sighs> I think extremely mature would be more like it. I think beautiful would be more like it. I'm going to blush. You don't have one of those Oedipus complexes, do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, you remind me so much of Arthur in so many ways. He was always laughing. He was always easy to be with. And, well, he could make me angry, though. Oh, really? Why? Oh. Well, his dreams, his schemes. The pot of gold was always just around the corner. He was never satisfied with just uh, earning a decent living. He always wanted to be a success. Well, maybe he wanted you to be proud of him. Maybe. Certainly, life was never dull with him. I've got to get back. If Margaret doesn't have her dinner by six, she... My God. Look, why don't you and I go out to dinner tonight? You're very kind. I'm all right. Will you stop the kind business? I'm not asking you to go to dinner to be kind. I'm asking you to go to dinner because I'd like to have dinner with you. I promise no walking. <laughs> all right. <laughs> You've convinced me. Good. Come on, let's get ready. I'll tell you what. After dinner, if you like, we'll go to a movie. The zoo? Dinner? A movie? All in one day? Why not? Oh, it's an awful lot for one day. Oh, don't worry. If I get tired, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Better wait. Watch out, it's hot. What is it? It's that noodle dish your father likes. With asparagus. Yes, with asparagus. Couldn't I have something else? You're so picky. Hey, was I talking to you? Just pick out the asparagus and eat the noodles. There are black things in this. Would you rather have Brussels sprouts? I'll eat the noodles. Yes? Hi, I hope I'm not ringing your bell at a bad time. Well, we just sat down to dinner. Uh, Mr... Gordon, Mark Gordon. Uh, maybe I better come back later. What's it about? Your mom. My mother? What's happened? Well, nothing, nothing. She's fine. My friend and I are renting a room from her. Who is it, Mandy? Uh, Mr. Gordon, one of Mother's new boarders. Is she all right? No, no, she's fine. I was in town on some business, and I thought you'd like to know she's feeling really down now, you know, what with her friend dying and all. And I thought if you could see her way free, and maybe stop by for a visit. Now, I realize you're going on vacation. She put you up to this, didn't she? No. No, my friend and I... Baloney. Why would a perfect stranger go to all the trouble of driving out here if she didn't ask you to? Because she's a nice lady. She'd love to see her grandkids, that's all. I told her next year. She understood. I told her that last year. She understood then, too. Mr. Gordon, I realize you're just trying to help. But, come on, I just get one two-week vacation a year. And we'd just like to have some fun. You understand? Yeah, I understand. Just thought a couple of days, you know. Next year. Well, I'll let you get back to dinner. Sorry I bothered you. Mr. Gordon. Yeah. Tell Mom I love her. Yeah, I will. Excuse me. 
Here we go. Look at the size of that. Oh, come on. I've seen you eat that much all by yourself. What? I mean, I imagine you could. Jane. Oh, Clara. Hi. How are you? Marilyn. This is a friend of mine, Jonathan Smith. Hello. Hi, how are you? Have you had any luck getting a new boarder, dear? Yes. Jonathan here and a friend of his moved in. Really? I thought you were looking for a female lodger, dear. I was, but uh, Jonathan and his friend are very nice. Yes, I'm sure. Well, it's about time for us to be getting in. It was a pleasure meeting both of you. the look on their faces. Come on, how can I miss it? <laughs> They'll run up their telephone bill tomorrow, I guarantee it. <laughs> hey, how's this? Oh, hi. Hey, how about some of this popcorn? It's good. Oh, I love popcorn. Oh, come on. is right behind us. I don't have to guess. Let's give him something to talk about. Put your head on my shoulder. Jonathan. Boy, right, come on. It's the least you can do. After all, I sprung for dinner, a movie, popcorn, large one. Well, why not? Back already? Didn't see any reason for hanging around. Why? What did Mandy say? Next year. And what if her mother doesn't have a next year? John, and you know something, is she? No, I don't know. What I do know is she's alone and misses her family. The longer people are alone, the more likely they are to give up on living. I just can't believe my daughter would do something like this to her. So what do we do now? I'll tell you what I'd like to do. I'd like to put that child over my knee. Well, John, I don't think that's going to be so easy. You see, that child's about the same age as you. All right, my daughter won't listen to reason. I'm going to have to shake her up a little bit. Yeah. How are you going to do that? Easy. I'm going to pay a little visit to my future stepdaughter. Future stepdaughter? What are you talking about? She's your daughter. Hey, you know that, and I know that, but she doesn't know that. Look, well, Tilly Jane will be out of town on business for a couple of days. I'll be in touch with you. Sure, you don't want me to go along? That means you're gonna have to take another plane. Oh, well, like I said, you don't want me tagging along. I'll just keep an eye on Jane. Thanks. Yes? Hey, well, hi. This is Jonathan. Jonathan? Yeah, Jonathan Smith. I'm a friend of your mom's. Well, a little bit more than just a friend. You know what I mean? I, uh, I don't know. Uh-oh, she didn't say anything to you about me, huh? Well, no, I'm sorry. She didn't. Oh, that figures. You know how widows are afraid to talk to the kids about getting married again. What? Yeah, surprise, surprise. Hey, look, I'll be in town for a few days. I'd sure like to drop in for a visit. Might not get out there for the wedding, so you at least ought to know what your new father-in-law looks like. Well, yes, I... This is such a surprise. I... Yeah, how about tonight? Little dinner, huh? My treat, you picked a place. Well, I... Uh... Oh, great. 
Great, I'll pop by oh, around seven o'clock. I'm really looking forward to it. I'll see you then. See you then. I'll get it. Now, you two, please, no arguing. This is an older gentleman. He remembers things the way they used to be when children were seen and not heard. Well, at his age, you probably can't hear anyway. Did you hear what I said? Yes, ma'am. Hey! Mandy! <laughs> you look just like your mom. Jonathan Smith? You got it right in the flesh. How you doing, darling? Fine. Hey, where's your old man in the Rugrats, huh? In, in the den. Oh, in the den. All right. Everybody, this is Jonathan. <coughs> hey, hey. <coughs> hey, whoa, slow down there, Martin, my man. We got all night to eat, you know what I mean? It's went down the <coughs> wrong way. Hey, let me slap a little Heimlich on you, huh? No, no. <coughs> I'm, I'm fine. You're right. <clears throat> Jonathan, these are our children, Matt and Jackie. Hey, what's happening, guys? Hey, that's a rad jacket, man. I like that. I like that. Thanks. Well, you're all done gagging, Martin. We can go eat some, huh? Well, certainly after uh, after you. Oh, no, no. Age before beauty. <laughs> <laughs> that's an oldie but goodie, right, old Martin? Right out. <clears throat> Mm. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, man. I love them. Snails and champagne. Mm. We could eat a hundred of them. I'd say you already have. You're kidding me. Huh. I didn't realize. Like eating peanuts, you know what I mean? Mm. Hey, you live it, it? What do you do for a living, Jonathan? Hmm? Drummer. Drummer? Mm hmm. Yeah. Drummer, you know. How interesting. Are you, uh, with a band? Mm, in between groups, you know what I mean? That's why I'm here. I'm looking for a gig. A gig? Yeah, a gig. A job, Pops, you know. Mm? Mm. Done. Couldn't need another one. Fantastic. Fantastic. Hey, waiter, bring me a check, will you? Picked a great place. We're glad you liked it. Just how long have you known my mother? Mama, almost a week. Love at first sight, as they say. It's quite a woman there. You know what I mean? Quite a woman. Yes, I know. Your checks, sir. Oh, thank you, my man. Woo! Nice place. Oh, hey, come on. <laughs> come on. My wallet, I must have left it in the cab. Oh, man, this is embarrassing. It's my credit cards that works, you know what I mean? Martin, old man, you're gonna have to bail me out of this one, buddy. I'll make it up to you. No problem. Waiter. Hey, Martin. Leave him a big tip, huh? I mean, the guy did all right by us. It's very generous of you. Hey, come on. You only live once, you know what I mean? Spread it around. <laughs> right. Children, it's late. Up to bed. You just got here, Mom. I am not in the mood to argue. I'll be up in a minute. I just couldn't believe it. Neither could I. We have to do something. I mean, I will not have my mother marry that... that drummer. Well, if she does, I guarantee he'll leave her without a dime. I know that. Look, I'll give her a call. First thing in the morning. And I'll uh, give her a good talking to. Martin, I cannot stop something like this on the phone. Don't you see that this all happened because she's, she's alone and frightened. This drummer came along at the right time. Look, I'm sorry, but trip or no trip, we have got to go there. We will never forgive ourselves if we don't. Mandy. Martin, you know I'm right. All right, I'll, uh, 
I'll go call the airline. Oh, Martin. We'll just surprise her. I mean, if we call, he may marry her before we get there. I was hoping to have these hot biscuits ready when you came down. How was your trip? It was great, just great. I uh, got a job offer. Out of town? Yeah. Yeah, it came up all of a sudden. It was just too good to pass up. Congratulations. being a silly old lady. When do you have to leave? Tomorrow. Hey, look. When we take a drive down the beach and uh, spend the day, have some dinner, huh? I don't know. I have things to do. It's gonna be our last day together for a while. For a while? We're sure. You're never supposed to say goodbye. You say till we meet again. Now, why don't you forget those biscuits and get ready? You know what I'd really like? What? Instead of going to dinner, could we stay right here? Build a fire. You're kidding. It's gonna get awful cold, are you sure? My jacket's warm. All right. We build a fire. I'll get some wood. If I tell you something, promise not to laugh. Never. Just being with you these last few days has made me... Go on, please. ...has made me feel young again. It's almost like being with Arthur. Can you understand that? Very well. You see, years ago, I was very, very much in love with a woman. And you remind me so much of her.
I'll never forget you, Jane Thompson. Nor are you, Jonathan Smith. Keep smiling. You too. I will. Somehow I know I will. Thanks to you.